Ciao, io sono Anna. Hi Dasha. Hello. Hello. So, uh, do you prefer to be called Yovana or Yovana? Yovana. Well, Yovana is my name. Yovana is just something that I put together and then it just became kind of brand, like by an accident. Um, so yeah, you can call me Yovana. That's your Instagram name, yeah. Yes, that's my so, Instagram name, yeah. As Instagram is the most important channel right now, I guess uh, we should, we're gonna feature you as Yovana. Okay, sounds good. Anyway, um, we should uh, let everyone know that Jovana is a fitness instructor yeah. or a bodybuilding instructor. What would you like to be represented well, so, as? Um, I prefer saying I'm a training and nutrition coach because I'm not really a bodybuilding um, coach per se and I'm not like your typical fitness instructor. So what I do mainly is I, um, I write programs for people, nutrition and training programs that are completely science-based. Um, so I'm just doing currently my master's in nutrition. So everything I do is really like really um, set set in um, in the science. So um, yeah, I guess I guess that's how I like. You create it. customized programs for people who want to exercise and lose weight. Yes. For their specific body type. Yeah, that's that's right. So how like how I do how I do how I do my programming is um, I would have my clients fill out a big form if. If they're in Melbourne, because I'm Melbourne based, if I'm in Melbourne, then they will come to me and we'll have a big chat. Um, and then I would just go, I would take them through a session just to see how they move, because that's really important for me to, to make sure that they're doing everything, that they know how to move and that they will actually know how to perform. Um, but if not, um, I still take clients just online, in which case they just fill out a big form. They explain everything, anything and everything that I ask, which is a lot, but that really helps me in determining the best um, program for them. And then it's uh, just just based on whatever their goal is. Is sometimes it's fat loss, sometimes it's muscle gain, sometimes it's just general fitness, sometimes it's conditioning, sometimes strength. So whatever my client wants to achieve, that's what we work towards. And I really like working like that because it's really something that you can measure. So we can measure one month progress, two months progress, three months, whatever it might be, um, so that everything everyone is happy and I know that what I'm doing is actually effective. Okay, and you're based in Melbourne, as you said. Yes. So, uh, how much of your business is online and do you uh, work with clients from America and from different mm -hmm. continents, even Europe? Mm -hmm. Well, so when I first started, that wasn't my, my idea. I kind of, I, it kind of developed to being a mostly online business by accident. So um, how, how that happened is I actually kind of determined, it just presented, it, it presented itself, kind of just happened, it happened by itself because I started doing a lot of nutrition because I get, got into nutrition a lot and I did a lot of research and um, I start, started working out on people's plans and then at one point I realized that I no longer have the necessity of them being physically there um, even 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 if that meant them going and doing their tests and then they're just sending me tests and then I would just have the opportunity to like do everything by myself and send it to them and we really didn't need any physical interaction so that's how it that's how that happened and then I just discovered that I had people contacting me through my Instagram even before I started developing it, developing it as a business so I started thinking to myself okay well um, if I'm doing it like that then I don't have any like restraints in terms of where my clients can come from and yeah I definitely have I do have a lot of um, I do have a lot of Melbourne based and Australia based clients but I have clients from Serbia I have clients from a lot of clients from uh, Qatar and clients from Emirates I have clients from America states uh, pretty much from everywhere like mostly it will be kind of those countries Serbia and then like um, Australian states, but yeah, still Qatar. I love, I love these guys. So yeah, it's, I guess it's really international. Did you ever Small. think a few years ago that you would have an online business? No. So no, it really, honestly, I've never thought of that. Like, it, it's it's really funny because I'm really not a business business minded person. So I haven't really kind of started doing that because I thought to myself, oh, okay, so this is what the future is. So let me develop a business. I haven't started doing that, doing it like that at all. So it just, it just, yeah, it just became happened, natural. Yeah. yeah, it just happened. Yeah. So would you say that over the years, as internet became a medium for any kind of mm -hmm. business, that that happened for with sure. your business and your for industry? Sure. Yeah. For sure. And even 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 as I started doing it, it started kind of become be, becoming more uh, more advanced as I went with it. It it's just. 
Well, I guess that that's how it, it is in everything, but I just started doing it. I started with nutrition and then I started stepping my game up, I guess, a bit. And then I realized that there is these great apps that we can use for training as well that will allow me to monitor. Um, my clients can also take a video of everything they're doing and they send it to me and I provide them the feedback. So basically everything, we can do pretty much everything, um, except I guess having that kind of physical physical contact where you can actually feel the person but if they yeah. don't don't like need that or want that um, then it's great and yeah that's definitely what happened it's just yeah it's just going with going with the trend world's economy yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. so yeah. Um, talk to me about being an influencer because a lot of people consider you an influencer yeah, that's really funny because I don't really consider my, myself an influencer and I think yeah I think it's funny because I still have these days where I guess I'm really active on Instagram and then I have no idea when I'm filming something that that's actually going like that people are actually like watching it if that makes sense it's really funny to me when somebody approaches me like five days after and they're like ah oh, that what you said or when you did this and when you did that and I'm like okay that's really weird so you're, but, you you're know. being natural yeah I'm really natural that's what I am and I think yeah I think that's why um why I it's guess, working <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah like I don't have a huge social media following but I think my following is consistent and and it's not really like people aren't um, unfollowing me I guess and my client my cost my like my followers become my clients as well and become my friends and I think all of that is because I'm genuine but I'm really genuine and I really don't feel like I'm an influencer but then I guess I meet people and people want to like take a photo with me or like oh like I know you from like Instagram it's really funny um, yeah even I witnessed that <laughs> yeah yeah but um yeah I really how is how is it to be one I really don't know because I'm just myself do you um, feel any responsibility like you are uh, I guess you are an expert in what you do so you don't really because you're speaking about facts how it is to exercise and but uh, typically influencers talk about responsibility a lot mm -hmm. when they advertise products when they talk about certain yes. topics well I think it's really really important because um, I'm someone who like I never um, I never I never endorsed anything um, for any for 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 like a financial gain if I didn't really use it myself and I think that that's a really big part because in my industry in fitness industry it's a major problem with huge influencers that have millions of followers in which you'll have a lot of people who are really insecure and really don't really have any education about um, nutrition or training and then they will see an influencer advertising something that really has zero value or even worse it has a negative value a negative impact on their health um, and I think as someone who does have a fair bit of people looking up to them I think there is a big responsibility in that regard and also sometimes even though that's not what I do I will use my page to promote um, uh, environmental health, um, just being yeah. being being cautious about the things, Anim animal responsibility yeah. as well, like helping animals, being nice and not nice and like kind to animals, um, and other stuff that I believe in. So I will do that. And also, I have to say this sometimes when I feel like saying something stupid on Instagram, just because you know we all have I have that part part of my personality. Sometimes I'm like. Silly. Okay, yeah. I won't. I won't do this because I know that you know someone else out there might be like, okay, she Offended did it. Like, or, or yeah, yes. I don't want them to maybe see um, see something negative from mm -hmm. my page. Yeah. So yeah, okay, okay, there is a responsibility for sure. Okay, and uh, um, let's say for last question, uh, how do you feel about competition? Because you're in this very competitive industry where people. Uh, represent themselves as perfect coaches and uh, there's so many different trainings mm -hmm. and nutrition plans mm -hmm. and we've all had ads pop out on our Instagram feeds uh, with this trainer or that trainer how do you feel how can you compete with them how can people know if uh, they should go with mm -hmm. a certain program and how do you fight let's mm -hmm. say fight battle, the competition yeah. Well, it is hard because, as you said, it is a big, uh, it, it is a big industry, and there is there is a there is a huge competition. Um, but the thing is, I feel that uh, it's really hard at the beginning, obviously. But once you start, once you get um, some sort of a small a small clientele, and if you're getting people results, then they talk to each other, 
and so word of um, mouth. I get a lot of word of mouth I get a lot of word of mouth mm -hmm. and also with Instagram for example Instagram has helped me a lot with my with my business and I'm basing my Instagram on just providing good information because you have a lot of these like fitness um, uh, how, how will I put it like I guess fitness instructors on social media that our fitness instructors maybe not a, not on account of their knowledge but just on account of the following that they gain by whatever which what by whatever means and I think that it's different if you go into someone's page and you see zero content in terms of you actually learning something rather than going to my page and being like okay well I think I think I give a yeah, good value um, reading something that's actually going to be beneficial for you so i think that people are able to determine i still feel that some people are going to go to that x person but that's fine because other people are going to come to me so yeah. i feel as long as you do have value and you are good at what you do in like whatever business um you can succeed it's just mm -hmm. it's just that and also also having said that you just really need to be consistent mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of people as I have, like I'm not, as I said, I'm not big, but like my business is, let's say, growing. Like growing. I get a lot of questions about like other like become, like uh, emerging coaches, and I think the main thing is again, like in everything, you just can't be like, oh, well, I did a post or I did um, a promoter, and like I didn't get anything out of it. That's fine. Like do ten, do fifteen, do twenty, and like one will succeed. And yeah, we talked about content. it the other day, like with exercising. You said. Maybe three times it's not gonna yes, work, but yes. you do it sixty times and that's you're it. gonna yeah. That's it, because it's not like that. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's yeah. not like going one time to the gym and all of a sudden like you look like you know Hercules. Like you need to be doing it all the time until you reap a, a benefit. So it's the same thing. And it's, it's also your industry is visual, so yes. I guess Instagram helps you also in a way that mm -hmm. people are like, hey, I want to look like you, or yes. I think that you know what you're doing. And for your industry, looks uh, help, right? I'm um, really important. Yeah, really important. I must say that in when it comes to that, at one point, at one point, I was like, I found myself relying too much on that, and I didn't want that because okay. yes, for sure, because I'm selling like I am obviously representing, representing my, my my style of training and my style of nutrition. And if I'm not if I'm not in really good shape, why would you trust my of product course, and yeah. programs? right so um that's a big part but then again i don't want people to be like you know going on my instagram and just like seeing like if like i have a good athletic body and then be like oh well yeah like she looks good i don't want that i want people to see that i actually have knowledge so i'm kind of trying to balance it out so there's a lot of thinking coming yeah. <laughs> instagramming yeah okay so, well yeah. uh thank you for this interview in our beautiful Herzegnovi then both nice. you and I love the, and the most beautiful town ever yeah. yeah and uh, for uh, giving an exclusive interview to the social formula thank you for having me and your friend pleasure. I'm gonna give you a hug now <laughs> Let's and that. thank I you I really enjoyed it oh. thanks Dasha yeah and I'm gonna ask you for a photo because everyone wants to take a photo with this girl yes so let's do, let's do a photo <laughs>